Good morning, Pisces Studio. What's cooking? <sighs> okay, Pisces, don't forget to wash your hands. You know what you got to do. Stay away from all this craziness that's going on in this world. And know that everything is open, but just because it's open, people are gathering and, you know, doing a worldly thing. And they wonder why they wind up in a hospital and sick because they live in that worldly devil world, okay? So be careful out there, okay? Um, teach his own, you know? What can you say? Um, let me start off by sending shout outs, all right? First of all, um, I want to thank you so much for those who like, share, and subscribe. Thumbs up. If you like me, share. If you like me, and please subscribe. I got people visiting me on my YouTube, and I know because I look at everything. And uh, you follow me, you watch me every day, but you don't subscribe. So what's popping with that? Huh? Either you like me or you don't. What's going on? Huh? If I go visit somebody's site and I like them and I watch them all the time, then I subscribe and I like to them. I just don't go by people's house and sit in their house and want to hear what they got to say. And what's up with that? You coming into my studio and into my house. And if you're just coming in to check me out and want to see what I'm doing, there's the door. Don't play no games with me. I don't need you to come here and check me out, see what I'm saying and doing. Either you like me or you don't. And either you subscribe or what you're doing here. What's up? Why are you really here? What you want to know about me? Let's not play these games. I don't play games, okay? So, like I said, if you like me, thumbs up. And if you want to subscribe, okay? For those who want to give me thumbs down, baby, the door is there. Keep on going. Don't waste your time. Stop sitting around watching me, okay? Trying to keep an eye on me. You can't do that, all right? Because guess what? I am protected by the blood of Jesus, Archangel Michael, okay? And Archangel Rizzo. So whatever you want to come in here to watch me and watch what I'm doing and all this and be funny and sneaky. Get your little stinking ass out of here. All right? I don't need you to watch me to talk, talk, talk. Get the fuck out of here. Anyway, and yeah, I'm not finger pointing at nobody. I'm just talking in general because that's what I do. Because you're in my house. I say what the fuck I want to say. Here we go. Anyway, to the LGBT community, great shout out to all of y'all. Love you a million. Don't forget you got a little... Little five-year-old is doing major work. She's only five, and she sees all colors, and she say everybody's the same. She's a little cutie, cutie, cutie. And she's coming back in the show and talk to y'all, okay? Um, also, Lon Darmero Taro, I'm sending you shout-out. Uh, Carol, shout-out. Lynn, shout-out. Roxy, shout-out. I love you, girl. Terry, um, Dr. Terry, shout-out. Kathy, the artist, shout out. Okay, Kathy's doing printing and drawing and painting and all this. Shout out, baby. I love you. Um, Pisces Studio, I'm sending you shout out too, baby. Shout out, boo. And um, Den, uh, Dean G. Bearer, shout out to you. Um, don't forget to keep me posted when to get with your girlfriend or whoever this person is want to get with me. Okay. On the other side, I want to say thank you, Mom. I love you. Um, James, Elizabeth's husband, shout out to you. Um, who else I'm going to say? Uh, Michelle, shout out to you. And um, also, shout out to Dr. Terry's husband. Shout out to you. Again, don't forget to like and subscribe if you like me. Don't just come up in here watching me and seeing what I'm doing and saying. <laughs> don't play. I got my eyes on you. 
You know what I mean? You know what I'm talking about. Stop playing with me. All right. Shout out to Jay Sean, my biggest supporter, my grandson. Shout out to you. Okay. To all those who don't really even watch tarot cards or just want to just watch and see what I'm doing. <laughs> that is for me. Okay. If you don't know about the game, you know. You know, stop playing. Y'all want to play little games and shit. But anyway, to my real YouTube followers, my real, real YouTube followers to get down with the get down with the serious tear cars, you know, to just want to get down with the real deal. This ain't no joke. You just don't come to people's studio just to watch what they doing. This is real, okay? You go to church and you sit down and you sit there and be quiet. And go to church and you listen to the preacher, right? Respect what we do. This is not a joke. It's not a game. Respect what people do, all right? All right, do that. And I will respect you for that more than just watching me to see what I'm doing. Don't be watching me see what I'm doing. If you don't respect me, get the fuck out of here, all right? Don't just come over here. Watching me. Huh? Watch you. Who? Let's go. Um, Pisces Studio for all. I'm sending you all shout outs. Every one of y'all. Also, um, when I go to the mailbox, okay, I make sure I got a lot of package. I don't go just for one. So I'm going today to send out the rest of the package. I don't go there for one. I can't just do that. No, I don't do that. Okay, um, also, um, I don't know. It's a lot of um, Pisces. Now, before I even start my studio, um, before I even start my reading, I just want to say that, um, you know, it's a lot of things that's going on right now, and they just there to um, attempt you to take you off of your path. It's a lot of, lot of, lot of walls trying to get to you, and I'm going to say bats. You know, people trying to suck your energy. You know, um, you, a, a lot of people, a lot, a lot of people trying to suck you. You know, Pisces, you're growing and it's your time to shine. And don't let nobody take your shine from you. When I mean nobody, nobody. Because people are coming out of the woodwork, all over the place, the woods, like foxes, lingering, watching, seeing what you're doing. Be careful, okay? Let me tell you something. And I don't mean be careful who's watching you. Be careful of your surroundings and who you talk to. Because everybody you talk to, they're wearing a mask, okay? And they need to reveal themselves. People wearing masks, honey, okay? Coming at you now with masks on. Because they see you rising, so they want to see what you're doing. He, he, you know what I mean? Be careful of people because there's a lot of snakes and rats and, you know, and um, bats and... You know, foxes and uh, all kinds of crazy shit coming. Be careful, all right? You know what I'm talking about. I always keep it real with y'all 100%. And I'm telling you this because I do a lot of readings, all right? And not only do I do readings. You know, I may sit down and talk to people and la la, all this stuff. But trust and believe in me. I see right through you. So... I'm telling you, Pisces Studios that walk up in this door that are real Pisces Studios. I'm not talking about people that come up in here that ain't no, stu no Pisces and all these people that come in here that ain't got nothing to do with the Pisces. I'm literally talking about Pisces Studio. Keep your eyes open on everything that's moving around you. And I'm literally telling you this right now before I'm even picking up cards. Keep your eyes open because now... Baby, you're rising, and you're going to have people coming from all, every which way, to you that you ain't even been fucking with or talking to. Coming to you. Reveal, honey. Keep that mask on, because let me tell you, they got mask on. Halloween ain't even in. They got their mask on. Be careful, honey. All right? Let me start off with this reading. Here we go. You got the lovers.
the Queen of Swords. And you got the Five of Wands. Let's get this party started. It's too much, too much. All right, you got the Six, the Lovers. This man and this woman, they look like they all tangled up. Tangled up, honey. In love. Tangled. All right? It's the number six, and I want to tell you something. I just uh, noticed this now, um, doing looking at um, the major arcana. It's funny how, you know, it starts off from zero when you are infant, when you're born in the womb, coming out. And it ends up at 21. And I just realized from 0 to 21 isn't at the time in your life that you're born and then you become 21. And then you become a solo because by that time, a lot of people um, finishing high school, going into college. They probably like their um, second year. Let's see, 17, 17. All right. Maybe like they get ready to finish college or almost finishing. But that's the time of the year where you... Learning yourself, literally learning yourself, and starting to be who you really are. So zero from 21 is like major arcanist, and that's playing a story in your life. Because then you go to the minus arcanist, then you got all these people and all these different signs and things. It's like the real world, you know, coming at you. But um, major arcanist, zero through 21, is telling your you. Your story, me, my story, okay? Our story in life, all right? So you got the six, the lovers, all right? So choosing, first of all, my heart is open to deep, meaningful relationship and I expand into the union with love and trust. With love and trust. Do you understand? These are two people tangled up. In love. Okay? It's a beautiful thing, right? Love is beautiful. Love is pure. Love don't hurt. Love treats you good. Remember that, Pisces. Love don't hurt. Love treats you good. Love yourself first. And then love will come. Treat yourself with respect. Know who you are. All right? Because let me tell you something. I met many people. And I thought they all loved me. But I had to love myself. And I'm so happy I'm in love with myself today. That can't nobody love me like me. Guess what? Been around the world and I, yeah, yeah. I'm a found. And I ain't going to say, fine, they're going to find me. The real love. What you say you've been around the world, yeah, 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 and you can't find your baby? You don't have to because they're going to find you. And that's what love is about. You don't chase love. Love comes to you. When you look for love, you get all the wrong people because you're loving what you see and not what you know. Okay? But that's like sometimes you look at a couple and you're like, how the hell are they together? One is tall, the man is short, the woman is tall. That's real love. That's real love. And they're the kind of people that last a lifetime together. But when you look for love in all the wrong places, and you look for them in places where you ain't got no business looking for them at, clubs, you know, places like that. You think you're high and you're drunk and you're meeting somebody. Oh, you like him. Or even if you're meeting a man, some kind of daggone place where um, you go to N.A. and you meet people there and they fucking, they, you, could, you fall in love with that shit. Or even if you go to jail and shit and you fall in love with people there, you better know that ain't fucking love. That's what you call addiction. Okay? Addiction. When you want something that your eyes is looking at, or maybe you're falling in love with people because they're material and you like their cards and you think that their cards make them and then you wind up finding out they ain't got shit. 
Or maybe you find people that got these great careers and you think they ballers and all that kind of find that they ain't got shit. And the more money they got, the more they ain't got a damn thing to offer you. Or even if they got it, they don't want to give you shit because they just want to show, show. All right. Remember, don't look for love. Let love look for you. Because your eyes always want to give you what you like. And it's not what you like. It's what you need. Do you understand? Don't play with yourself. Because I keep telling y'all Pisces, when you let go and when you stop seeking what you don't need, okay, that's when God gives you what you were seeking and a plus. Do you understand? And I'm going to say it again. I ain't never been married a day in my life and I don't know what God has planned for me but whatever he has planned for me I know it's going to be a good 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 plan because I deserve it alright been there millions of times it's kind of funny to me now that I sit and look around and everything and everyone. And now I sit in front of people that I ain't fucked with in a long time. It's kind of funny how God comes and brings things together. You understand? Let me tell you something. I'm planning on traveling the world. God is going to put me on airplanes. And I will travel the world. The world, literally travel the world, all right? City by city, state by state, I will travel. I will get to meet you personally. Do you understand? You got to call love, and love means stop seeking it. Let it seek you. Let it seek you. Stop wanting things so bad and can't wait to have them. Because when you want something so bad and you can't wait to have them, you say, I'm tired of being alone. That's when you get what you don't need. But when you learn to just sit back and enjoy your life, that's when you find real love and what you need, not what you want. And this faith here will travel you around the world. Because they love you. Do you understand? Love is love. But you got two loves. You got the love you seek. That is the devil love. And you got the love God gives you. That is the real love. This love will travel you around the world, honey. We ain't talking about sitting at home. We talking about traveling the world. Places you ain't never been. Give yourself a chance to love yourself. And when this person comes into your life, you're going to travel the world. Literally the world. Okay? And then you become the first lady. Because that's exactly how they're going to have you. Beautiful. You deserve it all. Don't settle for what you want. Settle for what God wants to give you. Stop searching and feeling lonely. Because that's the problem. We get lonely. And some people don't know how to not be alone. And when you don't know how to be alone, you bring people into your life that don't even matter, don't even want you. Or then again, you bring people in your life that you don't want them. And then what happens at the end? You wind up hurting these people. Because you don't even want them. Do you understand? Love. Is love. Find love the right way. Don't look for it. Let it come to you. Learn to love yourself. Explore who you are. Get to really know who you are. You're going to love who you are. 
Do you understand? Let me tell you something. Open. Your heart is open to deep, meaningful relationships. And you explore into the union with love and trust. Remember I told you what love is, right? All right. A choice, harmony, a lovers, a romance, a relationship, a friendship, a union, choosing to allow yourself to fall in love in a healthy, boundary way. Your soulmate, and remember one thing about a soulmate. A soulmate can be any damn body or anybody or anything or anything. That's a soulmate. Get, don't get it fucked up. A soulmate can be a rock, a tree, a dog. It's something that you love. And it's just there. You can live with a person that'll be your soulmate, but you're not married. You can live with a person that don't love you. That's a soulmate. You can be seeing a person that don't give a fuck about you. That is a soulmate. It's something that you, that you are in love with that's just the thing. Let's get it right. That's a soulmate. It's not a twin flame. It's a soulmate. They come into your life to teach you lessons. Do you understand? It's important that I tell you about this. Because Pisces, when I read love, y'all go crazy. So let's break that shit down. Because you need to know what a soulmate and a love mate is. A soulmate and a twin mate is. A soulmate is something that you are with that doesn't even matter to you. And you don't even matter to them. Because y'all don't even know how to even get along. But y'all want each other. Because maybe y'all don't want to see each other with other people. So y'all intend to be in the same place. But ain't no love there. It's something that you like. It's something that you want. It's something that you want to keep together. That is a soulmate. It's there to teach you lessons. Is that what you want? Because that ain't what you deserve. You deserve a twin flame. But before you deserve any of that, you deserve to love yourself. Body, mind, and soul. Connect yourself to your body, mind, and soul. And love yourself. Okay, because a soulmate is something that you love and it's there to teach you lessons. How many more lessons you want to learn when it comes to love? All right. All right. So. This is magnetic, like the magic is coming into your life. You are sitting on the edge okay of your chair connecting just sitting there waiting and connecting to something that is going to come to you there's going to be happiness and it's between two souls two souls that are entwining in their engagement and they loving each other. And it's two individuals going in the same path. But remember one thing. You always got a choice to make. A choice to make. So maybe you with a soulmate, but your twin flame is coming. You always got that choice to make of what you want in your life and what's best for you. Always put yourself first. Do you understand? This is the type of person that, you know, that it's maybe there. But what level are they there in your life? What does it mean? What, what are you getting from it? Are you getting karma? 
Is this karma coming around? Is it a lesson that you had to learn? What is it? Because this is love. Okay? Let me tell you something. While partnering, while partnership are beautiful gifts on the path, you must also seek it to give full, full, fulfill without weakness. You're resolving to remain whole. Remember that self love is the key to balancing everything in a relationship. And I said this. And, it, and I said it over and over. Self-love. You got to love yourself to balance everything in your life. Because soulmates are there to teach you lessons. Remember that. All right? And then said the twin flame. It said a soulmate. Let's get it right. Then you come into the queen of swords. This young lady. She goes by the book, she wise, and everything got to make sense. Everything got to come with a receipt. This is um, Aquarius, um, and I'm signing the signs, but I'm telling you, it's you. It's the sign Aquarius, Libra, or um, Gemini. But God said, they gave you the sword, right? So I'm letting you know right now. They gave you the sword, so that's just saying that if they gave you the sword, and let me tell you something, and you got Geminis again. This is Gemini. Do you got a Gemini in your life? Because this is a Gemini. They're there to teach you a lesson because this person here is a person that thinks. They ain't got no feelings when they come here. They all about what, what's going up in here. So they're there to teach you lessons. You got that? Lessons, I done said all what I said. I just realized it's a Gemini. And I'm glad I went through all of that. Because, let me tell you, a Gemini is here. They're not here. You're Pisces. You are up in your heart. You and your feelings. These people make, if it don't fit, they're in their head. They're not, oh, I love you and all that. They ain't into that shit, but you are. Lessons to be learned. All right? Keep your eyes open on what you're doing and who you're with. All right, because now you're coming into the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords is someone in this, uh, again, Aquarius, Gemini, a Libra. But you got to remember that I told you that God gave you the swords, right? He took you, he literally took the swords from them. So if you allow someone to take your swords, you're ridiculous and it's stupid that you allowing them to take that. When it wasn't yours from the beginning and God gave it to you. So why would you give them back their source? And right now you got a lot of damn Gemini, Libra, Aquarius right here in your reading. And definitely you got a Gemini because Gemini is love. Do you understand? All right. So then you're coming into the source. You speak with wisdom and clarity. The thoughts, leaders, that's what you are. Right now, honey, decision making. Okay, communication wide and logical. You can talk good game, honey. You can be who you want to be. Remember, they talk a good fucking game. Being honest. Okay. Intelligence. Being direct. Seeking the truth. Let me tell you something. It says seeking the truth. You were the Gemini's. Remember, they're here. you here. you seeking what? What are you seeking about all of this? What do you want to know? Because she's sitting there looking straight up. She looks like she's in a deep, deep fucking thoughts. And that's what they think. They up here. So you're in your deep thoughts and you're looking at the horizon. With the sword in your hand. Looking sharp as you want to be. Because you's a sharp bitch. Pisces, that's what we known for. We stay fly. I don't give a damn where we go. We stay fly. Okay? You got that bowl right there. See it? The bowl is sitting there waiting for you to go with it yourself. The bowl means harmony. It means seeking. It means balancing. 
When you hit that bowl, you listening to the beat, the sounds, okay? You're balancing your thoughts. But right here, she's in her thoughts about something that's going on, right? Let me tell you something. The highest status. There you go. You're honest. She watches calmly over the her kingdom. Gracefully. And everything is logical to her. Her wisdom is a frame, is framed in truth and in proof. Her wisdom is framed in truth, okay? And it has the truth, and she also wants proof for everything. Do you understand? And she avoids the gossip, okay, that others may want to hear. Hello. She asks you to be honest in your relationships, direct in your speech, okay? And she's there if you want to be, but above all, to bring you clear-headed results to the table. Let me tell you something. Sometimes this communication style can be come across as a cold and cutting. So very cold and cut right to the point. So if you are having trouble communicating, sometimes that is, that is difficult for others, for other people to hear you. Know that you can always drop your Drop your toes into the cup, okay? And be a little bit more compassionate when you when you delivering what you have to say. Sharp analysis and careful consideration are always your intelligence, the most intelligent move you can make as you being able to be clear in this connection with others. In a way that they easily accept and understand what you're saying. A so clear to your heart and to your mind will always speak the truth. When you speak clear from your heart and your mind, it will always speak the truth. Let me tell you something. You may come off to people real sharp in the mouth. Right? Because that's the way we do. Even when we're having a normal conversation with people. And they may say something, and here we come, sharp with the mouth. But it doesn't mean that you're trying to be sharp with the mouth. That's just who you are. And you come out cold to people. You know, you can be the subject and be, you know, don't mean to say it in a harmful way. But other people see it in that way. Because they like, well, damn, you know, like I always say, and I got a habit of saying, um, damn, they find itself. And people take it like, oh, well, you saying they find itself, but that's. I'm saying they find it cute or whatever. What the fuck? I can say the way I want. But people take it like, oh, she said he's fine and all this. Like, I'm trying to get with this little kid. Let me tell you something. I say the way I want to say it. Can't nobody correct me when I say shit. All right? But people in their fucking sick ass fucking head, they take things the way they want. And then they make you feel like you're saying something uncomfortable to them because you're being to the point and saying it the way you want and they can't comprehend how you saying shit because you're coming out real cold and to the point. So the way that they say things, you may say it in a different way. In a way you said they may not like it. But it's you who you are and you don't have to change for nobody. And the way they interpret you is the way it is. And if they don't like it, they don't like it. You understand? Because that's the way we come out. We come out real fucking sharp and cold. Every time, it can be the littlest conversation. And we were said in a way that we're like literally doing the blade shit right from the door. Like we cut your ass. But we don't mean to cut you. We mean because that's the way we talk. Okay? 
We talk with a blade in our mouth and we shoot it. We empty out a gun when we talk. Boy, let me tell you, our hands is right there. We emptying out the whole fucking gun right in the conversation. Because anything you say to a Pisces, they're going to come at you. And they may not say it to hurt you, but that's the way you get me. Or they may not say it to be sarcastic, but that's the way you get me. Because that's the way we are. So don't change for nobody. Stay who you are because guess what? They already know. Anybody know me know that I'm going to say it the way I say it. They say, well, damn, you know, you got to watch how you talk. Honey, I curse all damn day long. You think I curse on here? You should see me just being me. They be like, well, damn. You know what I mean? My grandson, let me tell you something. You're not going to tell me how to talk. Because my grandson is used to who I am. Do you understand? And they looking at me like, well, damn. Damn my ass. I talk the way I want and ain't nothing you going to do or change about that. The only thing you can say is you can leave. And I'll be glad to fucking leave because I done left many a times before. And I got my own fucking house to go home to. That I do a lot of shit alone. I don't need to be around people. I love being alone. I don't need nobody to make me. I make my motherfucking self. And that's what people don't like about a Pisces. The Pisces love being alone and don't get it twisted and fucked up. When we say we don't need nobody, we don't need no friends, nobody. We do shit alone. Okay? So if I talk to you every day on the phone, that's who I fuck with. I don't need a long list of people. I don't get down with a lot of people. I don't even like being around a lot of people. I don't need to go no damn way because anywhere I go, I set the motherfucking whole shit off. If I just walk up in a motherfucker, I bet y'all set that bitch off. I don't give a fuck who knows me and who don't know me. I bet y'all will. Just my presence. Yeah, that's me. Yes, honey, Miss Lisa. And I'm talking about Pisces. That's who y'all are. People take y'all in the wrong way when you talk. But you don't mean to talk like that. That's who you are. And she just said that, the queen of swords. <clears throat> She's sharp. Indirect, and when she say shit, she means what she say. She may come out cold to you, and you be like, "Damn," you know what I mean? But that's who she is. And God gave you the source to be who you want to be, and speak the truth, and speak it clear so they understand, and put the shit on the table. Cause when you put the shit on the table, it is what the fuck it is. Do you understand? It is what it is. You ain't got to change shit. Gemini, remember, Gemini, they think here, we think here, but now you got the sword, so you got the sword, you got the sword, this is what I'm trying to tell y'all, y'all own this damn sword, so you got it, so use it, protect yourself with it, cut shit that don't even mean shit, and when you talk and you come to the table, the way you say it is the way the fuck it is, and if they don't like it, who gets the damn? You don't have to do it their way. You do it your way. Do you understand? Everybody, the world is full of billions and millions of people. If one or two people don't like the way you are, that's one or two people. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? That's one or two people out of a billion people don't like the way you act, the way you look, and shit about your style, who you are. But the one or two people is the ones that they hate you because they want to be you. Do you understand? And that's something I've always had all my life. All my life. I speak the truth. Maybe you don't like it the way I say it. Or maybe you don't like anything about me. And I don't give a flying fuck. Pisces Studio, I'm letting you know. They may not like nothing about you, but they still want to be in your presence. What kind of shit is that? They don't like the way you talk. They don't like anything. But guess what? They can't say too much fucked up shit. Because everything they said about you, they seeing the shit pop up right now like a screen, honey. Because that's who you are. Do you understand? That's who the fuck you are. You like. You light. 
like that bright fucking star. And you ain't got to change shit about you. And you ain't got to say it the way they want you to say it. Because they think that you got a sharp fucking mouth. That's who you are. You don't mean to hurt them the way you're saying it. But that's the way you're saying it. So why would you change who you are to please someone else? You know, that's, you know, people be like, well, you know, you, you, you know, you need to um tone that, you know, cursing or, or tone this about you. And then you around kids. I don't give a flying fuck. That's the way I am. I'm not changing up for nobody. The way I talk is the way I talk. And the way I am is the way I am. Pisces, the way you talk is the way you talk. And the way you are is the way you are. You don't have to change anything for anyone. Okay? Because if I be classy and change who I am for you, then I'm trying to please you and not be me. And I'm not pleasing you. I'm going to be me because I choose me. See, I did a lot of pleasing and I gave too much. And what did I get your ass to kiss? I ain't kissing your ass any fucking more. Do you understand? Do I got to show you how much I love me? Do I got to write it up in the world and lights and action and camera says who I am, how much I love me? Pisces, put the camera, the action, everything around you and say, I love me, accept me or don't. I don't know what you're going to do, but I love me. That's what matters. Do you understand? All right. Then you got the five of wands. The five of wands. Remember, don't change anything about you. You got this person here. It's a one. It's it's a lovers. It's a Gemini. You know they thinking here. They don't know nothing about here. So if you with somebody that's always here and don't even express itself to you or none of that, let me let you know something. That's because they don't know what love is. So they don't even know how to express it. So you getting all in your feeling, acting all crazy because you don't understand it. Let me tell you, don't fucking try to understand it. Everybody ain't for everything and everything you want ain't for you. Get what you want to get it right. Get somebody that's like you, that thinks like you and wants you and make you happy. Don't get somebody that you got to change for and you don't understand them. You can't even get a fucking conversation with the motherfucker. That ain't love. That ain't you. That's what you want that ain't for you. All right? Because it's telling you sharp with the mouth and they think you sharp with the mouth and you're a bit too much. If they thinking all that about you, fucking say, see ya, peace up. The next one, if it hurts you, honey, I'd rather be hurt than to be with somebody I don't want to be with. They just lessons in your life. And they come in all shape, form, or way. All right? Lizards, dogs, cats, birds. Let the motherfuckers, the birds come in black, green, red, yellow, and every color. And if they come in black, please run from the motherfucker. Run. Okay, if they bats, run for your life. If it's a snake, haul ass. And if it's a rat, fucking kill the motherfucker. All right? Here we go, and I need to move on, honey, from that. Okay, so then you come into the wands, the five of wands. That is pushing you to your limits and saying you can do that. And you got people that saying, guess what? I don't know what you with that motherfucker for. You need to let that shit be and let it go and let me put you to the limit, honey. Because it's saying you got support from others and they up and you support them and you rise together in a in a harmful, in a very harmony way, okay? You they are accepting you in any kind of shape or form to help you. Alright. It may be competition, confusion, challenges, being pushed by others to exceed. A brainstorm, melt down, honey. You melt it down into something, honey, okay? Um, just energy of leveling up, okay? A little river can be a thing, a good thing. It can push us to become the very best vision of ourselves and see the very best vision of ourselves. And to move quickly than we would if we was doing it alone. This this situation and people around you are literally, everything they're doing to you, you know, 
whether you like it or not. It's like they pushing you. And they saying, oh, you can't do this bitch thing, she all that. Oh, well, while they saying that shit, guess what they're doing? They hating on you and they also pushing you. Because guess what? You being pushed by people or talking shit to saying you can't do and all this. They pushing you and they don't even know it. Sometimes people say, um, you know, oh, she thinks she all this and she think this and that and that. They are literally saying it so much that now you are literally, you are, um, seeking everything because people pushing you to be who, who they keep nagging at you and saying, oh, she thinks she living in this castle and she got this and she got, she thinks she doing that. She always putting herself bigger than what she is. Literally, guess what they doing to you? They making you bigger than that. And guess what? Everything they say that you think you got, you going to have. That's the best part about people when they fucking try to make you down and push you down and act like you don't, you ain't who you are. When people do that to you, it is because they are envy and jealous of you. And guess what they doing to you at the same time? And they don't even know it. They pushing you to get everything that they say that you think you are and you're not. That's your blessings when it comes to the five of wands. It's people pushing you to a limit that they don't even know that they working with you, pushing you there to exceed, to make you a better person. And you got people that want to see you then. You got people that's fucking just envy and jealous. Okay, but I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to say it again. You got a relationship and it's a Gemini. You better remember Geminis don't think with their head, right? They don't think like that. All right? But you do. So you got a person to think with their head and somebody to think with their heart. And it's kind of confusion because somebody to think with their head cannot think with their heart because they don't know what a heart is. So they're Geminis, Libra, Aquarius, and all this. They crazy, Okay. Literally, and then you own, you took the motherfucking sword because God gave you the sword. So when they give you the sword, you don't give the sword back to the motherfuckers. Why would you do that? That's the dumbest shit you can do. Because now you got this queen of swords. She's the queen. She's the motherfucking queen. God gave you the damn sword. So he said, why would you give it back to this motherfucker? Why? Do you understand why would you give your swords back? You don't have no reason to, baby. You are beautiful. You are intelligent. You are amazing. Don't give nobody your swords. You use the motherfucking swords to cut the motherfuckers off. Do you understand? And when you cut them off, guess what? This is what you do. You cut them off and you leave them for fucking dead. But make sure they're still alive because they need to know who the fuck you are. Do you understand? Because I ain't got no fucking pussies and wussies in this motherfucker here. I got bitches. They're the strong boss bitches. And I got men. They're the captains in my motherfucking ship. I don't run a ship that ain't right. I run a ship that is right. Do you understand? Please don't make me go there with you. Do you understand? And I'm talking about Pisces because I got many people that are not Pisces. that are sitting here watching me. Don't watch me, honey. Don't watch me. I'm talking to Pisces. Do you understand? God gave you a sword. And he gave you a sword to cut anything off that don't matter to you. When you got me screaming like this, it's because I'm screaming because I know shit ain't right. You don't be with motherfuckers that want you. And don't even know where you at. But they want to be a part of your life. Why do they want to be with you? When they know it's too much work. And when you got too much work in a relationship or in a damn thing. They ain't serving you. That's a lot of fucking work you're giving them. You're giving them too much energy. Do you got that much energy to give to somebody? Because I don't. I fucking don't. I don't have it in me no more. I got to do other things in my life. That matters more than all of this. I don't give a fuck if I never be with another nigga. I just know that I love myself. And I will cut your motherfucking ass off and you're lucky. I'm going to let you live. Because I'm telling you a bitch like me. And I'm not going to correct my motherfucking self when I say something I mean it. You can go back. And you can sit there and say, well, Lisa said this, and but this happened. Lisa don't give a fuck when I say something, I mean it. 
Do you understand? Don't let nobody take your source. If you with somebody, the only thing here, and you think here, and you trying to make them think where you at, and trying to make them see what you want to see, that's too much damn work, honey. Because it's telling you right here. The Father wants to send people that want to work with you, and you got people that trying to confuse you. And guess what? Because they want to keep saying what you are doing, and what you think you're doing, and all this shit about you, and what they're doing to you, is they really pushing you to the sky, baby. Because while they saying, oh, you think you're doing this, and you think, oh, I don't think a motherfucking thing, because you ain't saying it to my face. See, that's what you say behind my back. All right? Because real bitches say what they got to say in your face. Because they know me. And that's why they say I'm too much. Because I don't sugarcoat shit. And I say it like it is. And I'm sorry because I don't even realize I'm telling you what I got to say to your face. <laughs> Ain't that beautiful? And they fucking try to tell me how to talk and how to act. Ain't that a motherfucker? So I come to your motherfucking place and you want to tell me how to talk. When you know I say motherfucking bitches and fuck you too. I say it all day long. You can't tell me how to talk. You can't tell me how to act. Because all you doing is pushing me to the top. And guess what? I'm going to show you how I'm sitting on the top. And let me tell you, where you've been sitting all your life, I'm just getting there and I'm passing your fucking ass. Because guess what? I said, I will rise. And a bitch like me always had ching, ching, ching. And that's the problem. Motherfuckers, haters. Always been hate on my parade, but you ain't got to hate on me, because now I am legit. I'm not behind bars. You understand? I'm not doing time for what the fuck I want. I'm doing it legit, and I'm rising with the motherfucking money, and I'm going to the fucking bank with motherfucking billions. Do you get it? You think I'm playing, motherfuckers? You're going to come to my house and see how I live, and it won't be here. I'm living like the real motherfuckers they fucking got people riding the motherfuckers around because that's me i don't need no keys to ride a motherfucking car because i'm gonna have somebody show for me around if you think i'm playing keep watching me and you're gonna see me rise all right because i'm letting you know pisces y'all some bad motherfuckers and don't let nobody tell y'all that y'all not because that's what you got that's what you always had. People bringing you down, bringing you down, trying to kill your vibe, trying to kill your energy. Check this shit out. I'm going to say it again. You got a Gemini. Gemini's don't think with their heart. They think in their head, and it's two of them, and they wishy-washy. They don't even know which way they're going. This is a fucking Gemini. They don't know which way they're going. They got split personalities. They don't fucking know. What the fuck? Okay, go see a motherfucking shrimp. Go sign yourself to the fucking crazy house, Gemini's, because you're fucking cuckoo. You understand? You're fucking crazy. Don't play no game with no fucking Pisces. Go, we will cut your fucking ass off. How many twins are you? Because we're going to slice both of y'all bitches at the same time. You got that? We will take both of y'all. If it's two of y'all, come on. Because it's two of us. And I take you to the bottom of the ocean, leave your ass there drowning. Because remember, I'm the fish, and I'm on water, and you on land. I will take your little ass all the way down and put your head in the fucking dirt and leave both of your heads there like two bottles of fucking wine upside down. Do you understand? Because you ain't coming back up this time, bitch. Don't fuck with me. You got that? Don't let nobody play games with y'all because they can't play games with y'all. You took they sword. You're a queen of swords. Do you get it? The queen of swords. That means you think logical. And if it don't make any sense, don't sleep on people. They got to come with receipts. If they don't show you who they are, let them go because they lying to you. And they trying to take you to another place that you don't need to be. You got people that's coming your way that want to support you and you're going to support them. But you better remember. And you can rise together in this occasion. But you got also people that saying, mm-mm. No, because you see, look at this. You got people down and you got people climbing with you. So you got a lot of people that want the best for you and a lot of people that say, you know, oh, I want I don't know about that shit. She on this and that. But you got people that's right here saying, well, you're going to make it and we're going to make sure you make it. So for those who saying, I'm going to make it, I got your hand. And for those who want to see me drown, I'm going to drown you to the bottom of the ocean. Peace up with that shit. Moving on, baby. 
And that is God talking to you. Because I'm not doing the second death. Because I'm moving on to me and you. Because I got to get to the going. Okay. So let's go. Let's go. Here you go. You got two hours. You got one sitting there watching over you. And you got to make the next move. While you sleeping, you got somebody watching you. It, it is from the heaven, Sonny. Do you understand? Somebody very spiritual on the other side of the world is watching you. While you fly free. Because we do everything at night with Pisces. All right? You're going to make a choice. And that choice is going to be, you got two doors. And it don't say neither one of them are bad. Both, they both are right. But it's saying you like the one. It's almost like you want the sugar. But God is saying, do you need the sugar or do you want what I'm going to give you? Because what I'm going to give you is what you don't see coming. But what you got is something that you's all right. But I got something better for you. Do you choose to go with me or do you choose to stay? What are you going to do? Because he's saying, watch everything in fine lines, honey. Be very careful what's coming at you. Read everything very fine, honey. Very fine. Everything got to be seen. Let me tell you, I better take my eyes. Check this shit out. I'm going to take my eyes and I'm going to take something else if I can find it here. Because I'm going to show y'all the shit is fucking real. The shit is getting really real. I'm going to take my eyes and I'm going to take this bitch too. So I'm going to buy focus on the motherfucker. I can barely fucking see, honey. I got you. You're damn right. You want to come crazy? I need to read everything you're trying to say to me. He, he, that's funny as hell. Yes, it is. But you better read it, honey, because these motherfuckers are crazy. They're coming at you trying to play these little games. <laughs> no, baby. I'm signing dotted lines now. That means some real shit. So I got to read everything between the lines. Mm -mm. You're being, you're being honor, honey. Honor for what? For everything you've done. Raw bitch you are. You're being honored for being raw, damn it. You know that? You went through a deep journey in your life. You have come through a deep journey. People think, oh, she don't know what she's talking about. Oh, she doing that. He, 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 he. Ah, they may think you don't know what you're talking about, but you clear as day, honey. That's why they don't like how you say it. Because you ain't sugarcoat with shit. And that's me. I don't sugarcoat a damn thing. Do you understand? Not a damn thing. Okay. Now, I'm going to tell you again. You're being honest about something. You're going through a journey. And it's saying you're getting a message of concern. That means... Be careful, be very careful, because everything ain't what it seemed to be. Be careful. It's saying it's got to do about a job or something, something that you want to do. Okay, be concerned about that. Be very, very concerned about how people are coming at you and what they're telling you, how maybe they don't want you to be successful. Be very careful, okay, because everybody don't want the best for you. All right, but be very careful, okay. So, again, it says you're going on a journey, you're processing, you're writing, you understand, and you, you're taking this journey, and it said, again, a journey. So, you're writing everything out, you know what you're going through, because it says self-worth. Okay, so what? Self-esteem, you know, confident, um, be empowerment, um, value yourself. By valuing yourself, you can be anything you want to be, because now can't nobody fuck with you, and that means... Somebody got cut the fuck off that you cut off and you pierced their motherfucking heart to their soul because they didn't see this shit coming. Ah, they didn't see it coming because they was talking all this shit. You said, what nigga, what you say? I said, eh. And you took both of them out at the same time. Ain't that some shit? Because it says Gemini. So it's two people that you had to cut off at one time. That's some weird shit there. It may be more than two, but it wasn't one. And you did it in last. Woof. Damn. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. It's saying, look at this. Fulfillment. Risky. Achievement. You are protected. And you saying this is unlimited. You can do anything you want because skies is the limits and you're going to rise. This looks like New York City, baby, with all the lights and cameras in action. That looks like Las Vegas. That looks like Nevada. That looks like something humongous that you're getting ready to go into. That it is big and they got a lot of lights. Okay? A lot of lights. So much lights that when you come from that airplane, it looked to me like you're on an airplane. You know when an airplane lands and you start seeing them little lights in them houses? That's you, baby. You getting ready to go on a trip. Can I come with you? I want to come on your trip. Or does it mean that God has said, get ready, Lisa. You getting ready to go on that flight. You're traveling to see people. You're going places. Get ready, mommy. You getting ready to do some serious work somewhere else. And it ain't here. Okay. 
Fall in love when you are ready, not when you're lonely. And I said that early in your card reading. I said it early. Stop trying to be pe putting people in your life because you're lonely and you don't know how to deal with being alone. Find yourself, honey. I'd rather be alone than be with people that don't mean shit to me. Okay? Sometimes the strongest people in the morning are the people who cry at night because you ain't got nobody but yourself at the end of the day. Okay? Life is great and it's a canvas. It's somebody that likes to paint and it's saying that life is great and it's a canvas. Make sure you say it right, Lisa. A canvas. Throw all the paints on it that you can. Ooh. Did you hear that? Throw all the paint that you can on that canvas. And it says, life is a canvas. Okay? Life is a canvas. Great. Big canvas. Throw all the paint on that canvas. There it is. Okay? Did you get that? That's something else. Life is a canvas. Throw all the motherfucking paint on the bitch. I don't give a fuck, give a fuck where, man. Just start throwing paint all over the fucking place. <laughs> okay, that sounds like I'm talking to Kathy. Ooh, Kathy. Life is a canvas. Throw all the paint, all the paint everywhere that you can. All right? Community. Somebody, we all come into to working with community, with people that's going to want us, want the best for us. And let me tell you, it's going to be a beautiful thing. So you're really coming out of a lot of shit that you have put, that you've been into, that you had to wrap up. It's like the last little ties that you're wrapping up and you're throwing in trash and it's a done deal and it's over. Time to take a nap, baby. Relax now. Now you can take a nap because now you got rid of the trash. Yeah. Okay. To the sea and bath. Take a lot of salt water baths, honey, because guess what? That's what you're going to need. Let me tell you some family, my family, 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 honey, family. I'm going to tell y'all, honey, big supporters of, um, um, big supporters of mine. When I fly, you fly. You understand? When I fly, you fly. I may not have my family that are my blood connection, but I have created my family that have supported me from day one on this journey that I will never forget who you are. And I plan on taking you on trips with me. All right? And everything I got and you need, I will be more than glad to support you. You got that? And I mean support you. Don't forget, just because you got blood family don't mean they want the best for you. So please adopt me as your family because I sure enough been very honored to have you Follow me to this day. Thank you so much. And I had to say that for a reason. All right? Changes in your progress. You let go of shit and now you happy. You are floating. Everything is going to start coming to you. Because now it's saying, are you ready? Because you let go of what's serving you. It says go with the flow. Now you can go with the flow. Because you're not walking on eggshells no more. You're going with the flow. You're growing. It's saying prosperity and abundance. Do you see what you want? You're drinking a glass of wine, champagne. You're sitting there with your toes hanging out. You're sitting in front of a beach or lake or something. You're shining. You got flowers and all, honey. You're looking at you. You even got flowers on your head. You got flowers on your daggone hat. Okay? You are living life to the fullest. Do you understand? Life to the fullest. All right. So now, you're coming into the end of your reading. The end. All right? So there it is. You was codependent on people. You was addicted to being around certain things that didn't even add them. The more you tried and you tried and you tried to help a situation, the more there was no help for it. They turned around and tried to devour you. They tried to slander you. They try to make you feel like you was crazy, like everything you said didn't make any sense. But guess what? You came out on top because now you trashed them, you cut them, and you are free today, honey. Free from this codependence that you was with or in situations. And it's beautiful. I feel honored to say that about you. 
Okay, passion. Allow your heart and your soul to sing with joy. Did you hear that? Allow it to sing with joy. I'm going to tell you something. Sometimes you are with people that it's like, it's a un, it doesn't even, the love is not there. They don't want the best for you. And it's saying there is not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this shit going. Let it go. Let it go. Because when you let it go, that Nino in the water finds his way back to you. That little Nino, that little fish, that little fish that we are, they find themselves to the well, honey. That little Nino, the little orange and white little fish, finds itself back to the well, honey. The well, the big motherfucking well in the ocean, the biggest creature it is. The biggest thing it is. Let me tell you something. I'm going to tell you how big it is. Then I say this shit to you. I'm going to show you how big this shit is going to be. Look at me. Nino is a little fish, right? And God says, get on the ship because I got something for you. But little did you know that little Nino, God took the bottom of the ocean and rised it on the top. And this little Nino flew all the way. Literally, he's walking on land now. And it's a little fish. That's you. That's a Pisces. <laughs> We in the ocean swimming away, honey. Oh, yes, we are swimming like little birds. Oh, yes, swimming. We everything. Big one, little one. And then God says, get on this damn boat from the ocean, damn it. Because he said, I'm God. And I can make you walk right out of that ocean in dry land. Check this shit out. He said, come on, get on this boat. And you saying, I can't get on that boat because they ain't got no water on that boat. I'm going to kill myself. You sure you want me to get on that boat, God? I'm a fish. I belong in the water. God said, I said, get on that boat. You said, okay, I'll get on the boat. You jump on the boat and you're dry there and you're just moving all over because you ain't got no water. You can't breathe. And God said, damn it, look at this. God said this. Look, look at me. You're walking and you're breathing right. You're walking right because God said, through me, all things is possible. God brought you from being a fish in the water to bring you on dry land where you thought you was going to die because you done went from the water that you got to live in the water and salt and all that, right? Because you're a fish, right? And you said, if I get on that boat, God, I'm going to drown. I'm going I'm to die because I'm used to being in the water. If I leave the water, I'm going to die because I gotta breathe in the water God I need the water and God said I said if you get on that ship don't worry about if you're gonna you need air you need water I said get on the, get on that damn ship and you got on the ship and guess what God said look at me he said he made you that you can walk breathe and you said well damn and get back in that water and guess what because what he did was he rise you from the ashes and you came from the bottom of the ocean, which is dirt, living dirt. He rides there all the way to the top. He brought the bottom of the ocean on the top. And now you sit on the top and you a fish. And he made you human that you can walk. And you're living your life to the fullness. Ain't that a bitch? That's how powerful God is. Do you understand? I want to say something before I close this off. That we all, every human being on the face of this earth, there's no limitation to your success. So don't allow no one to limit who you are and put a limit on your life and what they want you to be. Because there is no limit. And there's enough in the whole wide world, even on this, on this COVID that we're in, Enough in the whole wide world that we all can make money and live. Okay? Because this is a brand new world that God says, I'm taking y'all out of your comfort zone and only the strong will survive. Remember I said that. All right? And I love y'all. Peace and love. Have a good day and love yourself. Love yourself because love is love. And you can't change love, but you got to know how to treat it and respect it. Respect love so love can respect you. 
Love yourself so you can be loved before you can find love. Do you understand? I love you, Pisces. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.